how to create a white model render in ARCHICAD and then we're going to have a look at how to uh, use those settings but then change them a little bit to create a, a model render, creating something that looks like a model. So in the next video we'll have a look at that. So in ARCHICAD, this is what we want to create. Uh, in the preview window that's what we're sort of seeing here. Now this was the previous render that you just saw that I created the setting. So we're going to step back and I'm going to explain how it works, what we're trying to do. So of course we need to have our model built. So we see that there's quite a lot of information here. There's also a lot of furniture that's currently turned on. If I sort of click in here we see that there's cars. That's on a layer called furniture, RMD furniture. So I'm always going to turn those off for when we do rendering for exteriors because the reality is that most of that furniture is inside and for an exterior render you're not going to see it but it's still going to affect the model and the time that the model takes to render so it's always best to keep that turned off. Now to create a render we're going into document, creative imaging, photo render settings. Now the photo render settings has two main parts, I'll just extend this for you a bit. So we've got the settings which look at the scene. Now this is preset so we're not going to use any of those at the moment and the engine. The engine that we want to use is the one that's called Cine Render by Maxon. So what's Cine Render? It's a, it's a slimmed down version of Cinema 4D and you'll see later on when we go to create a photo render it gives us the option of creating the photo render in ARCHICAD or exporting to Cinema 4D. Now we're just going to be doing this inside ARCHICAD at the moment. Of course if we wanted to create something really fantastic using Cinema 4D would give us a better result. Now we do have detailed settings uh, which talk about a lot of adjustments but we're not going to worry about that at the moment. Under render settings we're going to start first by trying to make it very quick. We don't want it to take a long time, and unfortunately rendering in ARCHICAD can take a very long time, particularly if you've got a lot of objects, a lot of highly um, high-parameter objects or elements with a lot of uh, nodes, a lot of polygons, and also textures. If we have very large textures that can also cause the rendering to be very very slow. So we're always going to start low and then we'll work our way up the settings. Now I've never needed to go fine details. You'll find that medium or high will still give you a fantastic result. It obviously depends on what you're trying to create and how large the rendering will be. Then when we've got lights, we've got our general lights or our inbuilt lights. We've got our lamps. These are the lamps that we place. And then we've got lights by materials. So in the last few versions of ARCHICAD based on Cine Render, the materials that we create or surfaces, let's call it the proper name, the surfaces have the ability to create light. Not just reflect light, but also illuminate. And so that's a really great tool which allows us to create things like strip lighting. So that's fantastic. At the moment, we're just going to have that on 100%. And I've got the lamps down on 40%. And I've got the general lights turned off completely. So this is for the effect that I want to create, which is a bit more dramatic than real because we're going to use this white model effect. What does the white model effect do? Effectively, it stops all of the colors from coming through stops the surfaces from coming through and it makes it all just white. So a monochromatic model is the intention. So we're going to turn that on. Under environment, for now, we're going to leave that at none. Often I'd use the HDRI sky. We're not going to use that at the moment. Of course, what, why would we use this? What does it do? It creates illumination. And so it's not necessarily about a picture, but it's about color and light. So HDR or physical sky, if the sky was blue, it might make the building blue. If the sky was red, it would make the, the building more red. And HDRI sky, of course, might mean that it's also including trees or neighboring houses. So, of course, that will create a color surface reflectance onto our building as well. For now, we're just going to do none, just to keep it really simple. And in background, at the moment, we're just going to make it all... It's not actually black, it's actually a very dark grey, and you'll see why I've done that when we go to the render. Now we could go to render here, again choose photo render projection, or if we don't want to have this in our way, we could turn that one off and then go document creative imaging photo render projection. Now what we want to do, 
which I didn't do, so I'm going to stop now and then change that, is to reduce the size of the window. Currently, this is filling up my 3D window, and that's great, it looks good, but it's going to take a long time to render. We have to very much manage our render time, so I'm going to save that, go back in, document, creative imaging, photo render settings, and then what I didn't do is switch back to our size. So under our size, we can either choose pixels, millimeters, centimeters, or inches. I will generally be using pixels when I'm trying to do a preview because it's helping me to understand the screen size of my screen. And I'm going to keep this locked so it's a good ratio, the ratio which is to the 3D model. And I'm going to reduce this down to 600. Now, while I've got pixels, it's always going to have the resolution set. We're not going to have to worry about that. If I start to change to millimeters, then that's where I might be changing my pixel resolution. Now, 72 is great for a screen. Um, I'd be aiming for something more like 150 or 300 pixels per inch if I'm trying to create a very high quality printed media. Now, particularly if I might be scaling up that media. But for now, pixels will be fine. So let's get, get this started now. Hopefully this works so quickly that it's not going to sit for a very long time and we can see the progress and we can see the result and then we can go from there. Of course, with Archicad, it's very, very difficult to get it to be absolutely correct the first time. So although we have the preview window, which I might be able to open up while we're doing this, while we have the preview window and the preview window is going to give us a faster... render of what we see, it's going to give us a, a sample or an example. It's not really going to be as effective or accurate, because it's not very large, as this one here. So we could always start with a preview to make sure that that's working the way that we want. I'm fairly confident that's going to work out because I've already done this render before creating this video, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. And then we can just start the render here. Now, a bit of OHS, WHS, rendering takes time and you'll find that when you're rendering you'll be creating multiple renders, you'll be saving multiple copies and you'll be trying to develop each of those each time, so don't spend too much time looking at your screen. What I would recommend is that you try to multitask when you're rendering so you can do other things on other computers. I wouldn't recommend using your computer for anything else while you're rendering it's more likely to cause it to crash when you do that. Now you may choose to therefore render on a, on a very large computer, on a computer with a lot of hard drive, a lot of RAM, a very good video card, but also the processing speed is also very important to speed up that render as much as you can. Uh, or just time it so you can go and do something else, maybe sleep. I know when I was studying, um, you'd be working all day and the tendency would be to want to work all night, but if you can get your computers to do the rendering at night and you can program your sleeping patterns to be able to work with your rendering, that might be a very efficient way to get your work achieved in a timely manner and still get enough sleep so that you're functioning effectively. So what's Archicad doing? It's going through different phases of rendering. Uh, we see that it's getting close to finish, but this bar doesn't necessarily mean anything. We can have a look at what's happening here. It works with passes now, so it develops bit by bit. If it's going to take much longer, I may need to stop this video, and in the next video we'll look at the result, but we can see what's happening already. Hopefully that's making sense. And at the very start of this video, of course, I showed you the result of what we've got. Now, the only color we see is the pool, and, and that's a bit blue, it's a bit odd. Uh, realistically, that's just because of the light that it's casting is blue, and so that's why we can see that color, even though we're in a white model render. Uh, but it's not a problem, and of course, what I'd be likely to do once I've finished this, we see that we're nearly finished this process now, is that I could take this out of Archicad once I'm finished and put it into something like Photoshop and tweak it. Again, the other thing that the white model render doesn't necessarily do is stop transparency. So we can see here that these balustrades 
um, and the windows, the, the windows are glazed. The balustrades in this case actually aren't glazed. These are vertical steel balustrades, but it has the same effect of transparency because we can't see that detail from here. So we see there's a little bit of color in the pool. If I really didn't like that, I could get rid of that. Uh, again, using something like Photoshop, but that's fine for now. Of course, what I might want to do is to go into Photoshop and infill these areas underneath here, uh, which are floating, and of course make them black, maybe continue this model to look black. And I like the fact that the background isn't actually black, but it's actually a very dark gray. So it's still having that drama, uh, but it's not completely all black. So there's a bit of definition of what is ground and what is our background.